Joining us now on the Deseret First Credit Union hotline from Hawaii is the latest BYU freshman football All-American center, James MP. James, first and foremost, congratulations on being named a freshman All-American. Thank you. Thanks so much. And uh, you also got married over the holidays. So uh, when you compare those two, which is more exciting? And I'm gathering your wife might be listening, so answer carefully. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely getting married. <laughs> It's been it's, it's been a good week, um, you, you know, getting married and uh, being a freshman All American. So, how do those two things compare in your mind? Um, they're they're just two great things, you know what I mean. It's um, sometimes all the good things happen at once, and it's just fun to just take them all in and remember them and and have fun, you know. So, just kind of feeling good this week. Uh, understandably, you're in Hawaii on your honeymoon. Um, so what does your understanding bride think about you <laughs> spending time with us on the phone <laughs> on your honeymoon? <laughs> She's cool with it. She's actually just about to go on a run. She um, she runs uh, track and cross country at UVU, so she's um, she's just about to head out. Who's the better athlete between you two? So it's, good, it's good timing. She is, definitely. That's a good answer, and you're just married. That's a good answer. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Let's talk about uh, your game on the field. So you redshirted last year. Um, did you expect to start as a, a freshman? Um, that was that was always my goal. Um, I was ready to do whatever the, the team needed, you know, and whether that was start or, or play a backup role. But, I mean, that, that was always my goal to start. So um, that's what I was working hard for. As a red shirt, what did you learn that helped you become a freshman All-American this season? Oh, man. You know, there, there's a lot that you can learn, especially when you're behind um, a bunch of experienced guys like, like Tijon and Tooney and Kean and, and all those guys that, that played last year. There's a lot you can learn, whether it's technique or just different ways to, to lead or how to just um, be calm and keep cool during everything, you know what I mean? So um, you can learn a lot as long as you take it in. Um, and I felt like it was it was just a good experience last year to, to learn and to play and to get better and to get my mission legs um, off of me, you know what I mean, and, and get, get ready to play this year. Freshman All-American Center for BYU Football, James Empey, with us on BYU Sports Nation. You've had kind of an interesting winding road that landed you at BYU. You initially committed to Utah, then you switched, came to BYU, played a year for your dad, then went through a coaching change. Now your offensive line coach is Ryan Pugh. How have you managed to stay positive and even keel through all of these unexpected changes? Um, just kind of... Um, trusting what's happening and knowing what's happening is, is supposed to happen. You know what I mean? And with, with all the coaches that have, have coached the last couple of years, it's just been able to learn so much from them. And Coach Pugh's a great coach, and he's, he's taught us uh, a bunch this year, and it's, it's been great playing for him. And it's um, just been cool to, to, you know, just roll with the punches and, and just take a ride, you know what I mean, and, and be able to go and, and just have a good time. That's that's what football is, you know what I mean? So it is it's been great. Well, all credit to you for uh enduring the unexpected challenges and now finding yourself as a freshman all American. I want to ask you about Ryan Pugh. What's the best part about playing on the offensive line for Ryan Pugh? Um the best part. There's there's a lot of good things. Coach Pugh he's he's pretty awesome. He uh He's he's pretty personable to all the guys. He knows how to communicate with us so that we we can understand um, what he wants us to do and and how to do it. You know what I mean? And it's it's just fun every day um, at practice. The O line's really tight. Um, we're a we're a pretty close unit and um, we're close with coach. And just every day at practice, it's 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 a party. Does he have a go-to phrase to pump you guys up? A go-to phrase? Yeah. He's got a lot. <laughs> Give us an example. Okay, wait, hold up. I'm on the spot. I got to think of one. <laughs> and remember, this is BYU TV and BYU ready. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You'll, you'll have to just come to practice and hear one yourself when spring ball comes around. Okay. We'll do it. We'll do it. Okay. Explain for those that don't know, <clears throat> once you break the huddle, what you are doing in terms of what you're calling out and signaling before you snap the ball. Um, 
So we break the huddle and we go up to the line and everybody just kind of says what they're doing. You know, we'll, we'll kind of point out, depending on the play, we'll kind of point out what's, what's the, what's going on, you know, who we're protecting for what, what's going on. And everybody just kind of says, okay, I got this. And then you're like, okay, I got this. And then the next guy, I got that. And so you just all communicate and make sure everybody's on the same page to be able to pick up the front. What kind of challenge is it to change quarterbacks midseason from your perspective when you're snapping the ball to Tanner Mangum for the first six games and then snapping the ball to Zach Wilson for the back half of the season? Um, you know, it, it, it doesn't change too much. Um, it, it doesn't change too much. It's a little bit different in the huddle, but, um, you know, we're going to block the same and play really hard for whoever's back there at quarterback. Um, and so um, – it, it doesn't change too much for us. We just want to win, you know? So whoever's whoever's back there, we're going to play our best for them. I'm thinking through the season, and I don't recall, like, oh, man, James had a low or really high snap or anything. What did it take to snap the ball effectively this year, whether it was in the shotgun or under center? Um, a lot of practice. <laughs> a lot of practice. It's it, it turns into kind of like a muscle memory thing. Um. But just just a lot of practice and knock on wood, hopefully I can keep them all good. <laughs> How did your dad assess your play this season? Because uh, he has a little bit of experience in coaching some offensive linemen. Yeah. It's 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 fun to be able to talk football with my dad. And, it, and it's kind of cool to see him because he, he, he was my coach all the way, like from when I started playing football to my freshman year of college. So he – um he was my coach that whole time. And so it's been kind of funny to see him go from coach to dad. Um, And uh, you can tell there's a lot less stress in his voice when we talk about it. And he wants to see us all do good, including all the, the, all the guys on the offense, you know, all the guys that he he recruited and coached and especially the old lineman, he he asked about them and wants them to be doing good. And um, it's been cool to just after games, talk to him about it. He's like, Oh, I noticed this. I noticed that. And, give him some good insights you know speaking of good uh when did you know that zach wilson had not thrown an incompletion in the game in the bowl game after the game when they announced it <laughs> i was stunned i was like no way he just went perfect i had no idea in the game you just kind of get rolling <laughs> they, they said and he's he he was 18 for 18 the mvp of the potato bowl and i was like he what we didn't throw a single incompletion that's crazy yeah, and then James, was, you're like, hey, cool. and I'm perfect on every snap all game, so how come I don't get some credit? <laughs> yeah, yeah, where's the O-line MVP? Come on, man. <laughs> oh, James, outstanding stuff, man. Uh, enjoy Hawaii and uh, the rest of your honeymoon vacation. Congratulations again on the award of a freshman All-American and on getting married, and we'll see you back in Provo soon. Thank you so much. Have a good one, guys. You got it. James Empey on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline. Deseret First, your values, your timeline, your financial future.